Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagam Radian here at the Association of the United States Army's annual conference and trade show, number one gathering of U.S. Army leaders from around the world to talk about the service's future, its strategy, budgets, technology, and more. Our coverage here is sponsored by Bell, a Textron company, Elbit Systems of America, Leonardo DRS, L3 Technologies, and Safran. And we're over here at the FLIR stand to talk to Ule Aguera. Uh, who is uh, with the FLIR organization. Uh, you guys have this incredible Black Hornet uh, system uh, that's part of now the family. Uh, talk to us a little bit about this latest vehicle-borne version of this extraordinary, uh, tiny, but very effective aircraft you guys have. Sure. So what you have here is the, um, the I would say, the, um, the next step in the Black Hornet family. And the, you, you remember the, the PRS, the personal reconnaissance system? which is attached to the soldier, you have it here. This is now transformed into being a vehicle reconnaissance system. So you can actually have it on a vehicle. And the whole idea behind the vehicle reconnaissance system is actually to have a, a box like this uh, with a launch unit um, connected to any kind of combat vehicle. It's being a, a, an open vehicle or a, um, a infantry fighting vehicle or even a tank you can have this specific box um, attached to the, on the outside of the vehicle, integrated with any kind of um, you know, connector uh, uh, to the same holes, uh, uh, holes in, in the hull, um, and then be able to control these small nano UAVs from inside the vehicle. Um, the whole concept is that you can actually have, you can cover a radius of two kilometers from the vehicle without launching the soldiers or getting out of the vehicle gives you the 360 of the whole um, uh, environment. Uh, it can fly out, um, do route reconnaissance. It can go out and identify targets in your vicinity up to two kilometers. Um, it flies day and night as with the, the soldier born uh, mm -hmm. solution. It is uh, rel relatively aut autonomous. So I would say it's, it's semi-autonomous. You, you direct it from inside the vehicle but it gives you uh, live video feed and metadata, so you can actually do targeting it as well. You can integrate it into the, to the, the vehicle's BMS system. Uh, you can uh, combine it with a remote weapon station, so you do tar right. targeting from that. Um, and um, it will automatically return home to the, to the base station when you finish on the mission. Um, and, and it's extraordinary because this tiny little air vehicle is enormously successful. You guys put a lot of investment in it. Um, you've been continuously improving it. Talk to us a little bit about how the vehicle itself has been getting better and better from the personal system that is um, extraordinarily tiny, right? A personal reconnaissance system as you guys had it. Yes, so, so the difference and the thing we're launching here at the AUC today is, is the next generation of the PRS as well. So this is a G2, this is Gen 2. It's a completely new system inside. It's the same architecture and form, fact, uh, form fit factor as on the G1. But this has a new processor, so it had, it's, it's scaled to do much more, bringing in AI, which is kind of like the buzzword right now in the, in the defense business, but this is actually scaled for growth. So this is, this is the one going into the soldier born sensor program in the US. Um, bringing that same technology to the, to the, to the VRS is through the Black Hornet 3, which is a new flyer. It's a modular aircraft. It, it has actually detachable batteries like this. Uh, so which, you can, which is an innovation from the older version, which you actually had to plug in and recharge. Absolutely. This is so the, the whole system is modular now. You can take off the nose with the cameras. You can put on another nose with whatever sensor you want. Put out uh, new batteries so you can immediately get them back in the air. Um, you have has a completely new rotor system, which is revolutionary to these kind of uh, um, I would say nano UAVs. It's still the same size as before. It's a little bit heavier, but that's because you bring much more capability to it and it's more robust, it's military approved. Um, and it's amazing the kind of crosswind you guys operate in. You, yeah. you, have, <laughs> you had one flying over us and it was extraordinarily uh, quiet. Uh, another incredible example of Norwegian engineering and technology uh, helping uh, US forces. Um, one last question, one of the big challenges obviously is uh, in a great power competition, right? Uh, electromagnetic spectrum will be denied. Yeah. Um, I know that you guys have been thinking and talking about this for a while. Yeah. What are some of the things that you guys will do to make sure that, right, because all of these video feeds and downlinks would be interrupted in a, in a contested electromagnetic magnetic environment, what are you guys doing to ensure that this can continue serving people uh, very, very effectively, even in a very heavy electromagnetic battlefield? 
Well, first of all, it, it has a specific radio. So it's, it's a military designed radio, which is encrypted. It's a frequency hopping solution to it. Uh, it also functions very well in GPS denied uh, conditions. So instead of having a GPS um, dependent system, it's now GPS uh, undependent. And that's important for this spectrum, at least today. So, and there's a whole lot of things going into the system, and, and I can't reveal all the, the details on that right now because that's kind of confidential. But it's built for the future battlefield, not the current or the or the or the, uh, the past. This is meant to take up your enemy, the advanced enemy, and not the necessarily the insurgent in the future. Ula Algeria from uh, FLIR Systems. Sir, thanks very much. Absolute pleasure. I'm glad Arne uh, introduced us to us. He's always very, very subtle, so uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm glad the general introduced us. Thanks very much. Best of luck with Thank the system you. and look forward to more greater things. And I want you to reduce the cost of this so that I can I can figure out a way to use it as my personal reconnaissance system. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you. Thank you.